Greetings, folks, and welcome to the Woe Show, episode number four of season two. We've got St. Patty's Day, the first day of spring, Phoenix Flea, Taylor Swift, ostriches, festivals, boots in the park, and let's not forget the Phoenix Lights anniversary. Let's do this. March 13th, 1997, approximately 8.15 p.m. Mysterious lights in the sky near Henderson, Nevada were first reported. Observers there and in northern Arizona in the Prescott area reported a large group of amber-colored lights moving together in a V-shaped formation. Later that evening, around 10 p.m. local time, thousands of witnesses in the Phoenix Valley reported seeing a cluster of lights hovering silently overhead in a wide arc, moving slowly and occasionally disappearing and reappearing. A formation of lights spotted in the night sky by thousands of people here in Arizona and then throughout the Southwest. Yeah, so speculation about UFOs as well as allegations of conspiracy theories and hoaxes. Uh, they grew around the event, spawning investigations, websites, books, documentaries. To be clear, money was made and is still being made. Amazingly, there were very few videos of this event considering how many people claimed to see it. I have to believe that if something like this happened today, the footage would be undeniable, considering the high-res cameras we all have in our pockets. So what were the Phoenix Lights? Stay tuned, because this week's list breaks down some popular potential explanations. Hey, YouTube guy, yeah. tell me when. He said, Jared said go, it's fine. Oh, Jared, thank you. The Ostrich Festival. I'm not going to lie, ostriches freak me out. Well, they should. They are some badass creatures. They're like 300 pound birds. Yeah. They look prehistoric. But anyway, on worldofarizona.com, we wrote an article regarding the Ostrich Festival. It's in Chandler, by the way. It happens for about four days in the month of March. We have a guy in our on group track. that dresses like a pirate. We <laughs> yeah, his name's Pirate Steve. <laughs> Is it Pirate Steve? Yes. Like Scuba Steve? We have somebody named Pirate Steve. <laughs> they farmed ostriches for the feathers. Like back in the day with the women's fashion. Oh, yeah. Like they have really cool feathers. Yeah. And they'd put, put them in so, their hats and stuff. Yeah. Hats, gowns. They wouldn't actually dress up like ostriches, the women. <laughs> uh, well. No! They have, is there beer? Beer? There is beer. Ice cold beer? There's a designated beer garden. Yes! For your drinking pleasure. Yes! There's live music. There's food. There's local shopping. Because it is hosted by the Chamber of Commerce. Of course, they're, they're wanting to support local businesses, so. Yeah, that's the best part about this, I yeah. think. Yeah. We have uh, an event in Chandler called the Ostrich Festival. That wow! Is, uh, taking place March 16th through the 19th. Kind of nice. But we have a stupid human festival next year. <laughs> <laughs> Why is his head tucked under what the egg? What do you egg? think I'm doing? Listen, Ooh, in an ideal world, sirs. our website would be full of events for every city. Wouldn't that be magical? We just don't have the power! <laughs> You're fired! And science. Like, science is pretty rad. Yay, science. It looks like... <laughs> A leprechaun exploded in our studio. You know what I was really disappointed by? No. I don't have any green pants. Yeah, and I didn't have a green hat either. That was really disappointing. The green hat and the green... I do have a green hat, but it's not cool. And I don't have any green glasses. I have green sunglasses, but not green glasses. I'm not going to lie. I'm not interested in this conversation at all. <laughs> Taylor Swift is kicking off her Eras Tour this Friday at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. I think she broke some sort of record, another record. I think she's broke all the records. Why does she keep making them if she's going to break them? <laughs> I don't know, man. It doesn't make any sense. These kids. Another story, if you will, is the island of Ireland is, in fact, quite green and has historically been pegged as the Emerald Isle. They're always after me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> So what do you think of when you think of St. Patrick's Day, Cooper? Luck of the Irish, pot of gold, shamrocks, rainbows, corned beef and cabbage, beer, Guinness, Irish whiskey, Irish coffee, the Boston Celtics. <laughs> Your cousin from Boston. Irish cream. Bailey's Irish cream. Have you ever had that? All right, we're moving on. First, we have to check on the line to see if anybody used the hash brown. No! The Woe Show. <laughs> 
Oh, did anybody use the hashtag the woe show? I didn't look that up. Fail. See, no. I always picture like she gets so excited, she just backs up too far and falls off the cliff. That's horrible. Here are five things I loved about my last trip to Arizona. Do you think she actually Something. talks like that? Or is that... Uh, maybe. She's got quite the pose there. I like the, the big step. I think that's why she got so many likes. I, yeah, it's that big step, and then she's kind of looking. Or looking. <laughs> she just walks like that. It's like watching Phoebe run or <laughs> Elaine dance. She's, the, she's got her own walk. It's just yeah, a, yeah, yeah. No, it's a model walk. Maybe I'm, she grunts too while she walks. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a lower. Uh. It's the naked lady. There. The let's, naked let's lady take only a look and see what's eight. going on. <laughs> I, I guess we have to look at it. Oh, it's Maria. It's Maria again at the JW Marriott Desert Ridge Resort and Spa. <laughs> the rest of the family the back. is blurred out <laughs> and stuck in the back. <laughs> you kids, you can be in the photo. You gotta be way back there, though. Good That's job, why guys. I said they're like we don't know who that family <laughs> is. We were just. <laughs> Taking a selfie. <laughs> they certainly look really happy, though, all holding hands. That's our mom and dad. <laughs> Who said that? Grandma, Grandpa. This she, is. Uh, she wishes she was Maria. Guy. That's what she's praying for. <laughs> What's the funniest name you've ever heard that was real? <laughs> Mr. Buttlicker. <laughs> William M. Buttlicker. <laughs> Bree is the big guy, and Bree is like, I've been trying to lose you all day, and you keep. <laughs> following me i hate you you're a jerk just keep smiling i'm gonna kick you in the little nads put your tongue back in your mouth brie is like that's not even a real thing he just does that what exactly is gonna happen to that cow a list of possible explanations for the phoenix lights phenomenon witnessed by thousands of people on march 13th 1997. number one it's a hoax Number two, fleet of aircraft. Number three, the military. Is it possible a black ops military aircraft was performing tests on both public reaction as well as test flights? Maybe. Number four, warthogs. There were reports that a unit of A-10s had been active in the area and dropped some flares. Or number five, extraterrestrial. The V-shaped formation reported by so many that night from Henderson, Nevada to Phoenix have similarities to many other sightings in the world throughout history. It's hard to believe that so many people who had their lives changed that night were completely and utterly deceived by what they saw, from police officers to pilots to air traffic controllers. What advanced species would be so disconnected from the planet they're visiting to make themselves so blatantly obvious? I would say probably not. But what the hell do I know? So where does this leave us? The same place we were when we started. Absolutely nowhere. Nobody that's willing to talk really knows what happened on March 13th, 1997. Even though lots of people will continue to try and make a buck off telling the story. After all, that's ultimately what keeps a good story going, isn't it? Here's the thing. If you want to know more about the Phoenix Lights... Sign up today for just $19.95 a month and you'll gain access to our collection of the world's largest library of never-before-seen footage. <laughs> Where can that be found? For the price of a coffee every five minutes, <laughs> you can have access. It's almost like there was their ship was broken. Or they have a sense of humor. You know what I think it might be? Like, it might be the, like these teenager aliens, maybe. Could have been like, teenage yeah, aliens. Yes. Then just like snuck out of the house. It would make a good Netflix series. Teenage aliens. It would. Does that exist? And all the trouble they get into, like all the dumb things they do. Yes. 